All right, guys. So, looks like there's no end to this woke shit, to be honest. Um, ah, shit. Here we go again. There's no end to it. I, I, don't, I don't know how many instances of this progressive bullshit Call of Duty keeps pulling, but again, there is no end to it. This is just another one. Uh, I think the first one they pulled was with the, uh, I think it's this one, with the BLM garbage. Then uh, I believe on, they pulled another one with the Nick Merckx. In Glendale, California, brawls break out between parents and LGBT activists outside a school board meeting. In response, Nick Merckx of FaZe Clan simply stated, they should leave the little children alone. That's the real issue. That Activision Blizzard gets activists triggered as Nick has his own custom character in the Call of Duty video game. Then the official Call of Duty account states, due to recent events, they remove Nick Merck's bundle from their store because they're focused on celebrating pride. And then his operator got pulled. And now, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 to include franchises. <laughs> Uh, first non-binary character. <sighs> it's been revealed that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 will include the franchise's first non-binary operator as a playable character. What are you, gay? What I find very interesting about this is that they released it... I don't know if this is the exact date, but... I think Call of Duty releases like in about a day. So tomorrow. There's 10, 24, 24 right now. This is 10, 23. So, I mean, you gotta give them some props because they're giving you barely, or I guess for the people that care, like me, they're giving you barely enough, to, enough time to react. Um, so if you do care about this and you don't like your Call of Duty games, your companies that you support to pander, to the current thing, to the modern audience. Cancel your pre-orders, man. Cancel your pre-orders, don't buy this bullshit. You know, if you really, really gotta have this game, at least get it on sale, you know? But I, I would not, me personally, I don't think I'm gonna get this at all. I think I'm gonna skip this because this is just, First, the uh, freaking transgender bullet in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, then this, like, I, I don't want identity politics in my shit, bro. I, I see this on freaking Twitter all the time. I, I see it on YouTube, and, like, I see it in real life. Bro, that shit's even in my Discord server, like, honestly, it's not even on my Discord server that much, to be honest. We do have one transgender person in my server, and that person is actually not promoting this all the time, you know. The person likes to talk about games, at the very least. You know, it's all I care about. I want to play a game. I, I don't give a shit uh, if your character is non-binary. Like, oh, but why do you care then? And you know, the okay, I just, I don't want my companies to pander. I'm sorry, man. I'm not gonna support a company that likes to pander because it there that's why they're doing this. They're not doing this because they give a shit about you. That's not the reason they're doing this. You you think they do this because they care? You, you, you must be the type of person that thinks the government cares about you too. If that's the case, you're very, very gullible, my friend. But it's cool. We go on my page. I already got four people that I've followed <laughs> since I posted this, but I really, really don't care. Um, we got, this is the most cryberry baby ass post I've ever seen. Uh, I guess you haven't seen that many posts then. Yeah, I'm on following you. Imagine being so stuck up on single op optional character, bro. I. Uh, you have your opinion, I have mine. I don't like my Call of Duty companies to pander to these fucking losers. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you want me to do. 
people are, I want to be by losers I mean people I want to be represented you know that kind of people because if you want to be represented obviously you don't have anything going in your life I, I thought we play Call of Duty to to shoot pixels I, at least that's what I thought we played Call of Duty for I didn't know we played video games to be represented to be honest so you can go eat one a big fat one so what just make a good game or you can make a good game and not pander you know that could be an option so yeah man it's obvious people are eating this shit up you know and but luckily people are speaking up on this so that, that's the good thing but anywho let's see the next the new character named Volta Rossi is revealed to use they <laughs> they them pronouns all right I didn't know that was a thing in the in the 80s I think this game is based on the 80s or 70s if I'm not mistaken you guys are more than welcome to correct me um, and hey if you can pull up an operator from the 80s or 70s that can that actually identified as a they them I'll give you some props you know I mean that's not gonna change my mind that it's pandering you know but I'll definitely recognize you and give you some props if you could find me an actual female operator with they them pronouns during the during the time of Black Ops 6 because you got to keep in mind these guys uh, are based on like Black Ops 6 is based on the past you know uh, at least that's what they say unless they're trying to pull Battlefield uh, freaking what is it four or five This announcement regarding the addition of this operator in Black Ops 6 was shared by Activision just a week ahead of the game's release. Naturally, some fans are having mixed to negative reactions to the announcement, but others are quite happy to see an operator added to the roster that uses proper pronouns. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? See, I proper pronouns. Bro, you're either a he or a she, bro. That, that, that's all there is. Well, what the fuck do you mean, proper pronouns? Are you retarded? Who wrote this shit? Jacob Dressler? Research on him later, but a lot of people um, uh, write biased, uh, what do you call it, articles like these. But I'm just gonna take the the actual announcement itself seriously. Everything else like this is pretty retarded to me. Happy to see a roster. I mean, if you're happy to see this, I think you're the person that should probably touch grass, bro. You should really touch grass. Because you should be happy that the game has a good story. It's If they're trying to go for... Uh, the Cold War, or I don't know what kind of war they're trying to go for. I forgot. Uh, you should be happy that the game is accurate. Or you should be happy that the gunplay is good. You should be happy that um, gameplay in general is good. Story, graphics, no glitches, no bugs. I mean, I don't know. I think that's what you should be happy about. Because you're playing a game. You're not being out there protesting George Floyd or protesting pronouns like an activist so I don't know I find this very very weird being happy about this but you do you boo boo alright previously a Call of Duty franchise included characters like Agent Bell in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War which gave fans a chance to choose their own gender uh, as such some LGBTQ fans took the opportunity to create a non-binary character Otherwise, however, Volta Rossi appears to be franchise's first playable operator non-binary with they them pronouns. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's great stuff, man. 
Right now I'm just gonna stick with probably Call of Duty 2019. Uh, might play the campaign and Modern Warfare 2. You know, stick with old games, man. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Funny thing is, people know by looking that is a woman. It's all fake shit. People always know the truth. Yeah. That looks like a female. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Who would have thought? Also, this game is set in the 90s. Okay, so set in the 90s. When this nonsense didn't even exist. So, I think it did exist. I just... It was more so... Since this is... Quote, unquote. And operator you know I used to be in the military so I know that this was uh, in the military culture this was more so at least in the 90s and don't ask don't tell type thing Japanese food is like the army don't ask don't tell you do your job mind your business don't talk about your personal life that's it so I think it did exist at least the you know, liking both genders or things like that. As far as they, them, um, yeah, that probably didn't exist, actually. But, I mean, gay people exist. I mean, this is just gay with extra steps, bro. You know? If you're non-binary, you're probably gay with extra steps. That's all it is. So, all right. I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, Reddit is actually kind of based right now. They're not accepting this dumb shit. From the 90s, I mean, but these people are seem to be from the 90s, so so it makes even less sense. I remember something about don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, bro, <laughs> bro. Yes, that's exactly what I was talking about. Like, but see, luckily there's people like this that have a brain. You know, like you do you, bro. But I don't want to see your shit in my game, bro. That's all I'm saying. Don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, you like sucking dick or. Getting your pump pump pummeled. Alright man. All the power to you. But I don't wanna know about it. I don't care. You know, I wanna play Call of Duty. I don't want your pronouns in the game. If you wanna be represented, uh you wanna be represented, I don't know, hire a public defendant, a public representative, start a a movement about how you wanna be represented and you want your pronouns to be known. Alright? But if I meet you and you want me to use your pronouns? You better use mine. And you're gonna you're gonna call me Mr. Emperor President. What the fuck is that? But yeah, man, let me know what you think. Cause I think this is fucking dumb. But anyhow, until the next video.